Now the first step is to restart your computer. Do not ignore this step. Just restart your computer once and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. Now for this make a right click on the game, select manage, then click on browse local files. It will take you to the game installation folder. Make a right click on the game exe file and then select properties. Go to the second tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. Hit apply, click on OK. Make a double click over here, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, this time select, put a check over here and then select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game. Still not working, then select Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. Still not working, put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Now, once you Put a check on all these boxes, still not working. In that case, you can uncheck these boxes and then follow the next step. Hit apply, click on OK. And then next step is to, now if you're using any third-party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you're using, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now I'm not using any third party antivirus, I'm using Windows security. So open Windows settings, go to privacy and security, Windows security, and then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the end, you will see manage ransomware protection, click on it. Now click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow, and then click on add an allowed app, browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. So if the game is installed in C drive, open C drive, program file 686. Now open the Steam folder, open the Steam apps folder, now open the common folder, now open the game folder, select the game exe file and then click on open. Once the game is added over here, now type in control panel in Windows search box and then go to control panel, system and security, Windows Defender firewall, click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender firewall, click on change settings on the top, click on allow another app, click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder, select the game exe file, click on open, click on add. In my case, the game is already added. Now, once the game is added over here, now you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to verify the mm -hmm. game file. Now, this is important, so go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select manage, uh, select properties, and then go to install files, and then click on verify integrity of game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, then you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So go to NVIDIA website and then select your product type. For me, it's GeForce Experience. So make sure that you select your product type over here and then select your series over here from the list and then select your graphic card over here. And then if you have Windows 10, select Windows 10. If you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. And this will be game ready driver. And then click on search and then click on download. And then click on download. And once the download is complete, run the exe file and then click on yes to allow and then click on agree and continue and then select custom option and then click on next. Now, Put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next. And once the installation is complete, let the installation complete and then restart your computer and then you can launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphics settings in Windows search box and then go to graphics settings and then click on browse over here and then go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder. Select the exe file, click on add. Once the game is added, now click on options, select high performance, now click on save. Now launch the game and then check. Next place to try DX11 or DX12 in launch option. So make a right click on the game, select properties. In the launch option, type in dash DX11 and then you can launch the game and then check still not working then make a right click once again select properties this time type in dash dx12 and then check now it's still not working in that case remove this from here and then follow the next step now the next step is to 
install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website now over here scroll down and download this x86 and x64 so download x86 file and then I run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see install option click on install click on yes to allow and download this x64 file as well and run this exe file as well click on it again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see install option click on install click on yes to allow and let the installation complete once both are installed you will see a restart option so make sure that you restart you can be after this and after the system restart launch the game and then check next step is to update your windows to the latest version so open windows settings go to windows update update and security in windows 10 and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte i have 16 gigabyte of ram so 16 into 1024 i have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total ram so total ram is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 491152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now, the next step is to unplug all the external devices which you are not using. So, if you have these devices connected, disconnect it. If you have any extra controller connected, disconnect it. Disable overlay. Now, for this, make a right click on the game, select properties, turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game, and then check. Also close all the other overlay applications. So if you have any other overlay application, either you can turn off overlay in Discord or turn off overlay in GeForce Experience, or you can close all the all the over, over, overlay application and then launch the game. Also close all the 
overclocking application like if you have MSI afterburner, revert unit or any kind of overclocking application running, close it. Also perform clean boot. Now for this type in system configuration in Windows search box, then go to system configuration. Go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services and then click on disable all. In my case, this option is grayed out. I already did it. In your case, this would be highlighted. So make, make sure first of all, put a check on hide all Microsoft services first and then click on disable all and then click on apply, click on OK. You will see a restart option, restart your computer and then launch the game. Also, if you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Next step is to uninstall and reinstall the game. So if nothing is working, you can make a right click on the game, select manage, then click on uninstall. Now after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder and then delete the game folder, restart your computer and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive or any drive, any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, then install it to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.